for your Craftman Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. Well, it was another week of Thursday night football on tap, including a tough task for the Caldwell Parish Spartans, and that's where we take you first over to Columbia, Louisiana. Yes, those Spartans and Cleo Head looking to slow down the Patriots of Franklin Parish. First quarter, Spartans trying to establish the run. That pass defense not having any of it. They stuffed the run right there for no gain right there. Now, Caldwell is forced to punt. Franklin takes over. They go to reverse to Addison Spradling. He picks up the first down here with a very strong run, just breaking tackles running through defenders and then they go with a jet sweep to Zay Boley. He gets to the outside. He's trying to house this thing tiptoes the sideline. He's brought down or pushed out of bounds inside the two yard line that sets up to Zarian Ellis right here on the QB read option fake me out. He finds the end zone 7 0 Patriots penalty or flag on the back end of this play for the celebration, but the seven points counted nonetheless. Now the Spartans next drive it starts with a strong run by Andrew McKee and he just drags some defenders right there for good yards. But once again, the Spartans forced to punt, and on this punt, a high snap gets over the punter's head. Franklin's Cameron Plater is going to uh, recover this fumble or this high snap, and they're deep in Spartan territory. Now, right off the sudden change, Ellis is going to go straight to work. He finds Caden Seals through the air for the TD, and just like that, it's 13-0. Patriots on the ensuing kickoff. It's Kyron Williams trying to bring a little bit of a spark to this Spartans team and he's going to do things big time right here. Check him out. Just hits the hole hard. Didn't slow down. Found his space and hit it. And I'll tell you what, he was one jersey tug away from house calling this thing, but he's brought down and just as things started to look good, it went bad. A fumbled snap right here and the Patriots recover it. They take over once again and they're going to capitalize on it. Ellis this time going to hand it off to DJ Neal and he breaks some tackles, carrying defenders, doing a little bit of everything on this play. He's going to rumble his way in for the score. It's a 20-0 Franklin Parish lead at this point. Now the Pats defense, they get off the field right here and that's going to set up to Zarian Ellis again. He goes with the tunnel screen over to Caden Seals and he's going to do the rest, finds his way into the end zone. Franklin Parish moves to 4-0. They're really, really good, but they take this one over to Caldwell Parish, 48-0 Zero to final on that one. And over to the scoreboard, Lincoln Prep, a big win over Jonesboro Hodge, 44 to 8, your final on that one. And we look at the OCS Eagles as this game was delayed over at Madison, some lighting issues over there, but the Eagles continue their dominance with a 42 0 win. We'll have full highlights of this one for you tomorrow night on Football Friday Night Extra. And now, before we fully dive into week number four of the football season, we take a look at some of the best of the best from week three. Week's top five, that means you're probably making the best decision you could have made all week. That is until you tune in tomorrow for Football Friday Night Extra. But for now, I got some dogs in the back. They're ready to get let out that cage. So let's go ahead and get into this week's top five. Number five, we have Waddell Clark Jr. taking the ball, making magic happen, and whoop, hit the B button and kept on pulling the sled. This is more than a spin cycle. He might put a washing machine out of service. Defense got hung out to dry so much, he got spun out the frame. Next up at number two, we got a familiar dog in the kennel, Jalen Nichols at Neville, knocking the Sonic coins out the defense and said, you might need more than one to bring me down. Then he just went from Tiger Amtrak to Neville Airlines, jumps right over the top for the score. We got to see that one more time, carrying this defender like a backpack. I don't know if that's mesh or if it's plastic, but I do know he's number four. Number three, we got a two for one deal over here at Richwood with Andre, the record Ram Williams, just giving out work. Do anybody need an application? He was definitely signing people up. I don't know if he's like cereal, but he definitely was making this Wiseman defense snap, crackle, and definitely making them pop. Number two. Oak Grove's Jackson Bradley. And at this very moment, the defense knew it was over. Bradley runs in for the easy touchdown. Jackson probably runs at five miles per hour, but guess what? He only needed three to get past this defender. We got to see that one more time. It looks like he forgot to pull the emergency break on this one. All right, come on, just one more time. Next time, he might want to do like Diana Ross. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Yeah. 
number one, our top dog of the week. We got to give the defense some love. The defensive stand on the two-point conversion by those gritty Neville Tigers. Holding Holmes County out the end zone and secure the one-point victory. The great Tiger Wall of defense. You're my top dog of the week. If you didn't make it this week, don't worry. Keep making plays. Keep being dogs. But that's this week's top five. I'm Jamie Bryan. It's time for me to head home and get some sleep because tomorrow is football Friday night extra. We will see you right back here tomorrow night with all the action. Hey, that's all the time for sports. Thanks for watching.